Why, hello everyone, I am the real Alan B and today we're going to be discussing the David Dobrik situation. So if you don't know who David Dobrik is, he's basically a member of the Vlog Squad, which is a YouTube group based off of vlogging, obviously. And he and a member of the Vlog Squad called Dirty Dom got into a bit of trouble recently. There was a video made in 2018 which has since been taken down known as She Should Not Have Played With Fire and it features a woman who reached out to Insider and accused the Vlog Squad of really terrible things. Now this woman's identity has not been revealed, she purposely did not want her identity revealed and instead went with a pseudonym known as Hannah. Now, due to this being an insider article, half of it is locked behind a paywall, EA style, but thankfully there have been people who have provided screenshots of the article, just give them an award. A group of seven college students were on their way to meet David Dobrik, but Hannah didn't know who he was. The friends piled into one of their cars to go shoot a video of Dobrik's YouTube famous posse, The Vlog Squad. Hannah knew her friends watched the videos made by the group, yet had no idea how famous they really were. Earlier that day, some of the students had begun chatting over Instagram with a Vlog Squad member who went by the name Dirty Dom. Dom, whose real name is, I'm not even gonna try, said he wanted to hook up with them. According to direct message transcripts reviewed by Insider, some of Hannah's friends were interested. That night, Hannah would become ensnared into the no-holds-barred, clicks and cash through lifestyle that Vlog Squad members celebrated in their videos. The students who had watched Dobrik's videos knew the Greatest played the character in the vlogs he was a sex addict. They didn't know where the character started and ended, and weren't sure whether they were supposed to be having sex with him that night. The sexy stuff won't be in the vlog, right? They asked over direct messages on Instagram. I might need to take a pic, trust to show Dave so he believes me, haha. <laughs> the Greatest, age 20. 23 at the time replied, presumably referring to Dobrik. Hannah, a 20 year old sophomore at a private liberal arts school in Los Angeles at the time, didn't know what to expect, but she was up for an adventure. She said she couldn't have predicted what would happen that evening, she said, and that all the events have left her with trauma. In phone interviews with Insider, Hannah accused the greatest of f by engaging in sexual activity while she was so incapacitated by alcohol that she could not consent. She says members of the Vlog Squad supplied alcohol to her and her friends, who were too young to buy it themselves. Dobrik filled Hammer at the apartment as she entered the Glacier's bedroom with him. He edited and uploaded the footage as a threesome plot a few days later, in a vlog called She Should Not Have Played With Fire. Before it was deleted at Hannah's request, it had 5 million views. Hannah says the greatest guided her in through the door, and she said she quickly turned around and told him that she wanted to go back to where her friends were. But the greatest blocked the exit with his body and started asking her why she didn't like him and wouldn't date him. Hannah said the greatest asked if they could hook up. She replied no. He was like, nah, you have to at least give me a kiss, Hannah said. I was getting really scared because he wasn't letting me leave. My friends were in a totally different part of the house. I was like, what happens if I keep saying no? So I just gave him a kiss. So yeah, this is all incredibly serious stuff. Dirty Dom is definitely living up to his name. But where does Dave fit into all of this? Well, it turns out he knew about this and did nothing to stop it. As you can see by this video he made where he explains that he saw it with his own eyes. Yeah, my uh, my buddy Dom made an Instagram story and he's like, I want to have a tonight hit me up and this girl hit him up and she's like i have friends and she sent over all her friends instagram links and he's like yeah come through and seven of them ended up showing up and then they all they, they were when they all got there they were like oh no no, no i don't have sex i don't have sex and then and like then, blatantly in front, of, in front of everybody yeah yeah well the, yeah they didn't want to have sex except except two of the girls wanted to have sex so he just ended up having a which was still his first was very exciting for him so i, I well you guys sent it. like three of your friends in to confirm it was happening yeah i mean uh, you, you know was, <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have sex with them unless we unless we saw it with our own eyes so there were also a lot of other jokes made in the vlog such as we are all going to jail and in light of all this coming out david has lost tons upon tons of subscribers until he eventually released a two minute apology video on his second channel not his main his second and it was not great. Essentially, he just says that consent is a big thing to him and that he's dropping all of his association with Dom, yet doesn't even address the situation fully. This video pretty much made things worse. After losing all of his sponsorships, all of his followers, he eventually finally decided to sit down 
Brian for the camera in a proper apology video which he hasn't even named. Whether this is sincere or not is up to you. I don't think David is ever going to come back from this one. I don't think the vlog squad is ever going to come back from this one because it's all incredibly serious stuff that they've done with video evidence. And they've pretty much lost all their sponsorships, all their subscribers. I don't think this situation can ever be fixed. But with that out of the way, that is the end of this video. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. All my socials are linked down below. Following them will be greatly appreciated. Hitting the like, subscribe and notification button is also greatly appreciated. And I hope to see you all again. And like I always say, if I do see you again, it's when I see you again. Bye bye.